The world is no stranger to stories of luxury and extravagance among the world's wealthiest individuals. Among these elite ranks are the Arab kings who have garnered immense wealth and influence over the years. In this exploration, we delve into the lives of the richest Arab kings, shedding light on their breathtaking properties, jaw-dropping car collections, luxurious yachts, and extravagant indulgences. From Dubai's Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum to Saudi Arabia's King Salman and Brunei's Sultan Hassan Al Bolkia. These rulers live lives that seem straight out of a fairy tale. However, there is one family, the House of Saad, who despite their immense wealth remain relatively unknown to many. With their ownership of Saudi Aramco, the largest company in the world, and a net worth estimated at over $1.4 trillion, they are not just the richest Arab family, but also the wealthiest family in the world, surpassing even the British royal family. Join us as we unveil the opulent lifestyles of both these Arabian rulers and the enigmatic House of Saad. To comprehend what goes on in Saudi Arabia's monarchy, it's important to know their roots and origins. The story begins in 1932 when the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was established by Ibn Saud. Since then, the House of Saud has ruled over the country as what many term an absolute monarchy. The king has total control over the land and is expected to answer to only Sharia law and the Quran. Today, King Salman bin Abdulaziz sits on the throne, steering the wheel of the oil-rich country and Middle Eastern giant. However, the story wasn't always one of good fortune. Saudi Arabia was one of the poorest countries in the world, and their only sources of revenue being pilgrimage and agriculture. Under the House of Saud, this changed when oil reserves carrying immense wealth of crude fuel were discovered in 1938. Three years later, they developed friendly business relations with the United States and thus began a journey into wealth and prosperity. The oil fields were developed by the Arabian American Oil Company, which is now known as Saudi Aramco. At the beginning of its operations, it was controlled by the United States, but today the company, now worth trillions of dollars, constitutes a core part of the immense wealth of the Saudi royal family and the country as a whole. Two decades short of a century after its founding, Saudi Arabia is the only Arab country that's part of the G20 major economies and is recognized by the World Bank as a high-income economy with a high human development index. On the 4th of March 1938, Saudi Arabia first struck oil with its first commercial oil well, and the wells are still flowing with vast resources today. This is the backstory of the wealth of Saudi Arabia's richest family. To dive into their wealth, we'll first take a look at King Salman of Saudi Arabia, head of a family worth almost $2 trillion. With a personal fortune of $20 billion, King Salman enjoys a life of luxury. King Salman's royal palace in Riyadh is a genuine architectural masterpiece, boasting a staggering 4.9 million square feet. This complex features a private hospital, several mosques, a royal cinema, and numerous other amenities. While its true value is considered practically priceless, experts estimate that the materials and labor alone would cost no less than $500 million. His car collection is just as impressive as his real estate portfolio, with over 7,000 cars in his possession. His collection includes exclusive models such as a $4.8 million Mercedes-Benz SL600, a $3.4 million Bugatti Veyron, and a $2.5 million Golden Rolls-Royce Phantom 7. In addition to his many cars, King Salman owns several ultra-luxurious private jets worth over $2 billion. He prefers to travel aboard his Boeing 747, which alone costs over $500 million. With a predominantly golden interior and even a throne room, King Salman is also an owner of luxurious super yachts with a fleet over half of a billion dollars. The flagship of his fleet is the ultra luxurious Prince Abdulaziz super yacht, worth over $100 million. Next up, we have a situation where one of the youngest princes made headlines by purchasing an original Leonardo da Vinci painting, Salvatore Mundi, for a jaw-dropping $450 million. This was back in 2017 and still has people stunned to this day. The painting featuring Jesus Christ is considered a masterpiece and one of the most expensive artworks ever sold. The prince is reported to have built a gallery to display the contested work in his home country. But their extravagant purchases extend far beyond art. The House of Saud's appetite for luxury is evident in their acquisition of the world's most expensive yacht, 
valued at a staggering $500 million. Another prominent member of the House of Saud known for his extravagant lifestyle and lavish spendings is Prince al Alawid bin Talal. Born on March 7, 1955 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Prince al Alawid is a billionaire businessman and a member of the Saudi royal family. He is widely regarded as one of the wealthiest individuals in the world, with a net worth estimated to be in the billions. One of his most expensive spendings was the acquisition of a custom-built Airbus A380, the world's largest passenger aircraft. The prince spared no expense when it came to customizing his Airbus A380, transforming it into a flying palace. The interior of the aircraft was meticulously designed to reflect Prince Al-Walid's refined taste and his desire for utmost comfort. The plane features a concert hall, a cinema, a spa, and multiple bedrooms all adorned with the finest materials and furnishings. In addition to his luxury aircraft, Prince Al-Walid has also made headlines for his extensive collection of luxury cars. His garage is said to house some of the most coveted and expensive vehicles in the world, including a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Bugatti Veyron, and a Lamborghini Reventon. These cars represent a fraction of his extensive car collection, which is rumored to include over 200 vehicles. Finally, we have Prince Fahd bin Sultan bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. He's a prominent member of the royal family and has been associated with a lavish lifestyle and opulent spending. One of the prince's most extravagant purchases is his private palace, known as Al Faizaliya. Located in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, this sprawling palace is estimated to have cost hundreds of millions of dollars. It features luxurious amenities such as multiple swimming pools, a private zoo, extensive gardens, and a helipad. The prince is also known for his collection of luxury cars. His garage is said to house an impressive fleet of high-end vehicles, including Rolls Royces, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and Bentleys. In addition to his personal expenditures, the prince has also made significant donations to charitable causes, including education, healthcare, and infrastructure development projects in Saudi Arabia and beyond. In the realm of extreme wealth, the richest Arab kings and the fairly unknown House of Saud stand as symbols of clear richness and wealth. Their lifestyles are things people can only dream of, with sprawling palaces, awe-inspiring car collections, luxurious yachts, and extravagant indulgences that defy imagination. The House of Saud helped by their ownership of Saudi Aramco, the world's largest company, boasts a net worth surpassing even that of the British royal family, estimated at a staggering $1.4 trillion. Alright guys, so unfortunately this video has come to an end. That's it on exposing the richest Arab family and their royal lifestyles. Since you guys have reached here, I just want to remind you to subscribe so you will not miss any of our future videos. Trust me, you will not regret it. Also, like the video as it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm and lets this topic be delivered to more people. And lastly, share this video so we can inform others. With that, thank you so much for watching, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.